Hey guys, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter for uh, basic Sorgonomics here. Sorgatron.com. Please check out everything. Uh, uh, plenty of these videos and of course the Power Hour I do with my friend Will. Our weekly conversations. Well, weekly-ish I guess we can say. Uh, we got our newsletter that we're talking about. A lot of things happening with podcasting, social media. Stuff that hopefully get you on track with things. And we have a lot of other great events here coming up. I'm hoping to help people out in and outside of the Pittsburgh area digitally in, in, in some, some cases here. Uh, so uh, today I wanted to talk about Facebook, and this was something that uh, was 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 asked to me here as we were going off the air with the Indie Mayhem show here on the Tuesday night uh, podcast day, uh, and uh, I, I wanted to kind of get into the, okay. So the the comment and the complaint was again our friend that we've seen here on a couple of times when we were talking about Instagram social media hashtags uh, that they're uh, you know basically their Facebook and some complaints about it. So apparently when uh, they're posting to their Facebooks, they're talking about when they're promoting their shows, like, you know, you expect, okay, all these people have fanned me. They should be getting this stuff. They should be seeing these promotions. Unfortunately, that's not the case. And and, and this, it wasn't always the case. You know, uh, it used to be, you would see more or less everything. If I was a fan of uh, Coca-Cola, I'm going to see everything Coca-Cola is going to post. But because of the way Facebook has kind of changed the game, and Chase, Facebook is always going to change the game in their favor uh, because they they kind of they kind of uh, hold the deck. I'm probably mixing my casino metaphors, uh, but I hope you get the idea. Basically, they're in control. They've given us this thing and said, "Hey, everybody, come over here, build a business fan page, right? Uh, and 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 it'll be great. And you get your fans involved and do these things and get more likes and get them involved and do this, and 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 it'll be cool." All right, now you got all those fans. We're going to change out our, our algorithm, as our friend in uh, Periscope was mentioning here in a moment ago. We're going to change our algorithm so people are seeing more relevant things to them in the newsfeed. People are seeing things in the newsfeed that are uh, people are interacting with. So now, half that promotion that you just put on your Facebook isn't getting out there. It's not meeting the, inner, the uh, algorithm standards. Now you get things like boost post. So now it's kind of taken your, your audience and your business and your promotion hostage and said, wouldn't it be nice if some people could see the post that you, uh, that you were posting? I don't even know what accent that was. I apologize to any ethnicity that I might have offended there. Probably every one of them. But anyways, again, they've changed it. You know, and it's a way for them to make money. They got you. They give you the first one free. The first couple years of we're going to build communities and be awesome and, and, and sell things through Facebook. Well, they got to make money somewhere, right? It's not just the ads. It's also selling those ads. And you're trying to sell a thing, whether it's, it's you with your podcast or it's you with your Coca-Cola or you with your wrestling promotion. And they want a piece of that pie. And they want to provide you a service. And now I have friends that they play the game um, for their companies. They actually manage the advertising uh, much. I don't know if this is a fair comparison to the degree of, of handling uh, advertising when it comes to uh, Google, you know, Google ads, AdSense, AdSense, AdWords, AdSense, something like that. I think they're both the same thing. It's been a while since I dived into that part of it. So, so they are doing that and they are taking advantage of it, but that doesn't help me. I, I'm a lowly podcaster. I don't have a, a big fund to, to, to throw a hundred dollars a day at this thing to get significant results. I'm trying to build the authentic community, a pro wrestling organization, especially these independent ones, even the ones you think are doing really good. They don't have that expendable cash to be doing that. It's almost an, in more cases than not a no profit situation to do that promotion. They're standing there and they're making trainees uh, handing out flyers and, 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 and even hey, in, in, in connection, they should have those trainees also make sure they're sharing the show on Facebook or anywhere else they can think of on social media. That should be part of your wrestling training as a social media class, but that's a whole other show. Um, so, no, you're not going to get as many as much interaction on Facebook unless you got a great community. Unless you've gotten to the point, there's, there's a couple of things you can do to, to game the situation back in your favor. Notice the trends on Facebook. What do you see in your newsfeed? What are people interacting with? 
there's a couple things. Um, I think this is being lessened now, and you understand why in a moment, but make sure you have a picture attached. These are very standard rules. Make sure you have a picture attached to whatever it is you're selling or something visual, even if it's a website link typically where that blows up into a big picture and you have a nice big picture attached to it, which I think you, in most cases, I think they might change this a little bit, but you should be able to replace that picture if it's not great. And depending on what, how your website is set up, if you're using WordPress, for instance, you can set up social media stuff and say, okay, this is the featured image and this is the picture that shows up on Facebook and everything uh, through certain plugins. Again, grander subject, look it up, look up social media, um, social media on on uh, uh, an SEO on on WordPress plugins. Let's say uh, other formats, you'll have to deal with that. Squarespace makes it easy. But anyways, uh, so first something visual, something with an image. They look for something with a nice, beautiful image because they don't want a bunch of text uh, when you go through that newsfeed. So they're gonna bump that up. That's gonna beat the algorithm a little bit, or at least help you. Right? It's not gonna be perfect. It's it's not gonna be perfect. It's not guaranteed. Nothing is at Facebook unless you send them the money. And even that can be questionable. And there's a whole other thing about that on whether you're using it and not wasting your money trying to do that thing. So now, okay, you're using pictures. The other great thing, you're probably putting all your videos, especially if you're a wrestling promotion, over on YouTube. It makes sense, right? Well, if you pay attention to Facebook, you notice there's a lot more video going on. Now, what's also happening is, well, Facebook isn't making a lot of money from the video yet. They're really kind of building the platform right now. Again, giving it away for free for now. Now, eventually this will change. But right now, if you're uploading your videos directly to Facebook, you will, again, play into that algorithm because they want you to know Facebook as a video platform now. So you're going to see a lot of videos in your news feed. Everybody is. So if you're putting video content in there, like it's not just, okay, I got them to like the page. They're a fan. They're going to see all the things. Now you still have to play. You still have to fight to reach your fans. I know it sucks, but this is how Facebook is doing it. It's not as clear as I'm on Twitter. And if you sent the tweet, it's sent to everybody that follows you. Now that becomes the problem is you see everything. I tweeted the thing at six in the morning. How many of my fans in the East Coast region where I'm trying to sell tickets to actually get to see that tweet before it gets pushed down by everything else on Twitter? So now you're playing that game and a repetition game and trying to hit everybody at different times. And that's where we talk about tools, scheduling around certain events or with, uh, with TweetDeck or Hootsuite or randomizing these promotional things like we talk about with Tweet Jukebox. Check out everything in Sorgatron.com. Search any of those terms. And I got plenty of stuff to say about that. Um, that's But Facebook is, you get it on there. You get people interacting with it. That will, on top of saying, put in an image, put in a video, people are interacting it. People are actively sharing the post, which means it's important enough for them to share to their homepage, their own newsfeed, that sends a signal that it's important enough to show to other people. So I hope that's helped you guys dispel the rumor of Facebook and everything like that. Uh, you know, there's a lot more to it, a lot to fit into, uh, a lot, a lot to fit into uh, under 10 minutes here for these videos that we're targeting. Uh, but again, if you have any questions, hit, hit me up, Sorgatron on Twitter's, and uh, I'm doing Periscope a bit. I had a few questions pop up here, and I'm going to answer them here a little bit as we're wrapping things up for the evening. Uh, and uh, again, Sorgatron.com for this and so many other videos. Sign up for the newsletter. So you can see everything going on around here. Hopefully you learn a little something too and uh, and see some of the fun things that we're doing around uh, SorgatronMedia.com. And we're going to have some exciting announcements here coming up as well. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at SorgatronMedia.com.